explain the joke. Oh my. <clears throat> Excuse me a moment. As we uh, do this. Settle down, settle down everybody, settle down, settle down, settle down. Put those pogs away and look at the board. Thank you. Right, we've got the joke to explain here. But uh, we need to get rid of Jean's girlfriend first. Bye bye, bye bye bye, bye bye bye, bye bye. Right, right. We have a joke here from Erodian Thorn, who writes to us telling us, very disappointed in my new camera, I went to some wheat and cornfields to take photos, and the pictures all came out grainy. So, what is a camera? Well, a camera, short for camera obscura, which in turn means dark room. And how a camera works is uh, there's like a lens here. This is old, oldie worldy cameras, but uh, I'm going to make it contemporary as well. And uh, so, all the light you see penetrates this lens. And we've got a black box here, which in olden times would have a, a roll of film, which we're going to denote here. And what would happen is that the light would hit the film, uh, left, left, right mirrored, upside down, uh, but it would hit the, uh, hit the film. And this film here, you see, was made from uh, photosensitive chemicals, you see. Now these photos, basically you had to grind the chemicals down to make them very, very fine, you see. And um, uh, because it's, you, in order to coat, to coat the, essentially, well, the first, the first photos, let's start at the start. The first photographs were taken on metal and they were called daguerreotypes, you see. So you would smear this chemical onto the uh, metal in darkness and then you would cover it with, a, with a, an, another piece of metal like a, almost like, if you've ever remembered the uh, the 1920s conjuring trick where a man saws a woman in half, they'd put those little dividers in, sort of like that. Okay, so you'd slide this whole this sheet of metal into the camera and you'd pull the, uh, pull this away and um, the light would basically burn away at the chemical that you'd covered the, the, the metal with, um, but only where it was light. You see, where it was dark, it wouldn't, where it was light, it would. Yes, and this would take quite a while to do in olden times. Uh, and then what you would do is you'd put that slider back down again. And then you take the whole assembly away into a dark room, not a camera obscura, a dark room. And uh, you would treat it with, um, with fixing chemicals. Now the fixing chemicals would basically interfere with the photosensitive chemicals and prevent them from reacting to light, you see. And once that was done, you'd be able to see the uh, resulting image in daylight without the image deteriorating. Yes. And again, uh, how well the image is defined comes down to how small the little, little sort of grains of chemical are that appear on the film. Yes. Yes. So, basically, the, um, the finer the grain, and I believe it's uh, linked to notions of fastness as well, because the finer the, I think I'm right in saying this, the finer the grain, the faster the, uh, the image will capture, because it's, less, it's a quicker reaction. I think, take that with a grain of salt. I'm not an expert, but uh, yes. But anyway, the point of it is, with, with regards to this joke, is that... Um, the uh, much like the pixels on a uh, computer screen, um, the uh, size of those little grains of chemical would give the uh, resolution, if you like, of the image. And what would happen is that uh, certainly where an image was underlit, uh, you'd you'd actually the, the the grain would be more visible. The grain's generally visible anyway. You see, uh, if you look close enough. But uh, it's certainly more visible in underexposed images, you see. Scratch, scratch this, though. This is all old news. Now, instead of... Oh, I oh, took a bit of the bear's ear off there. Hang on. Sorry, bear. 
Yeah, good as new, good as new. Um, so, uh, um, yes, now instead of a, a piece of film there, which is disposable, one use sort of affair, we have what is known as a CDS chip. Yes, which uh, basically, it's sort of, it's more, in, it's more like a retina. Yeah, you know, like a retina in a human eye. Um, I need to explain what a human eye is. A human eye, uh, the eye is the organ through which we see stuff, you see. And it looks sort of something like this. So here uh, we have, much like in a camera, we have a lens. So again, the light passing through that, through the uh, pupil, and then it's reversed and back out and light hits the retina. And now the retina is made up of um, uh, re receptors called rods and cones. Yes, with the uh, rods doing black and white and the cones doing color, you see. And uh, they essentially are sort of neurally mapped uh, into all of, this, all of this information of what rod and cone is being simulate, stimulated, goes down the optic nerve and into the vision centers of the brain and uh, we then, our brains then reconstruct that into a uh, two or three dimensional model, depending on how many eyes you've got, uh, of the world outside us, outside our eyes, you see. So it's more akin like that. But a CDS which essentially does the same job as the retina there. So it's not being destroyed uh, exactly. Although we might, we might get onto stuck pixels later. But um, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's not destructive in the same way that, uh, that photographic film is destructive. Uh, so, um, e but even here, even here, you see, um, the accuracy is kind of hooked up to uh, how, light, how much light is actually uh, entering, the, entering the camera. And more or roughly speaking, the more light you have, the less grain you get. Anyway, that's the notion of photographic grain. Um, so that's half of the joke explained. The other half has to do with uh, human agriculture. Now, humans, um, they were hunter-gatherers uh, at the birth of humanity. They were hunter-gatherers. They'd go out and they'd find berries and whatnot, and they'd kill animals and eat them. Uh, they'd hunt, hunt animals and kill them. And uh, over the years, over the centuries, uh, they developed techniques whereby they actually could keep animals, you know, rather than hunt them. And rather than having to sort of forage for what plants happen to be there, they established ways of growing uh, plants and eating them, uh, eating the produce that way. Uh, and that's basically the birth of farming. That's why we do farming. It basically takes us, takes, takes a lot of, well, I would say takes the effort away, but it sort of transplants the effort and takes, certainly takes a lot of the luck out of it as well. Yes. So uh, some of the things that uh, humanity grows is wheat, which I can't draw with an eraser. Wheat, which kind of looks a, a little bit like this. Very, very bad. Very bad drawing of some wheat there. Yes. And uh, and corn. Corn, which uh, is more sort of... Uh... Oh, that's a hot dog. Oh, I see. Yes. Um, I know what I'm drawing. Um, yeah. So it's sort of made up of these little, little bits. Now, both of these... The little bits of corn here and the little bits of wheat we refer and and i think if, if you're confused about the joke so far i think the coin's going to drop at this moment we refer to these you see as grain as grain so in this joke that uh Erodian thorn uh told um about a year ago now i think um takes his new camera out to take photos in a cornfield and, and wheat fields, but the pictures came out grainy. That is to say that the images that the camera produced uh, were grainy, yes, in the sense they have that sort of speckled look of grain, and secondarily the pictures were of wheat and corn, which are types of grain, so the pictures all came out grainy refers both to those things simultaneously. And as we've discussed many times before, if a sentence has two meanings simultaneously, it amuses us and we laugh. Welcome to the stream, Orange Spark. Um, and sorry, Orange Spark missed the start of this, so should we, should we take it from the top?
no, let's not, let's not do that. Let's not, um, you can watch it on the VOD. It's fine. Um, so, uh, yes, yes, yes. A radiant thought. Have I explained that joke to your satisfaction, sir? Orange Park gets the gist of it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, is it going to be a test after this? That might be. That might be. What were the early, early photographs called, Erodian Thorn? Can you tell me? Can you spell it? Yes, you put more analysis into it than I did. Hurrah! Good work. Good work. In which case, let's, uh, let's draw a veil over this and return back to the game. <laughs>